Welcome back and I've got a really fun experiment for you today and it's one that every school child should have done so shame on your teachers if they haven't let you do this and those of us that are a little bit older you might remember this one from your school days. We're going to look at the magnetic field due to bar magnets and how we can show the magnetic field. And then all you do is just put your drink down on the bar and you leave it alone. I'm not sure you expected that to happen and neither did I. So let's try and explain what's happening. Electric fields apply forces to charges. Why does putting two transparent things on top of each other do something so strange when you turn it through 90 degrees? So I'm sure you all know that if you take two bar magnets and bring them close together, if the poles are different, they attract. And if the poles are the same, for example, north to north, they repel. But you'll notice that these forces are happening between the magnets and are invisible. You can't see the lines of force that are causing them to do this. So what I want to do today is show you a way of seeing the lines of force that act between the poles and cause the magnets to feel the forces they do. So some of you might remember how we show the magnetic field around any kind of magnet, and um, this is a bar magnet. We use another magnetic material um, that uh, gains magnetism when it's near the magnet and loses its magnetism when it's away from the magnet. And this is soft iron. And we call these iron filings. Uh, some of my students write in their uh, preps iron fillings, but I think I know what they mean. And what we're going to do is see what the magnetism is like around the magnet by sprinkling the iron filings around it. The only problem is, if you do that straight towards the magnet, they'll all just stick onto the magnet. So what we're going to do, because magnetism can go through paper, is hide the magnet underneath and sprinkle the iron filings on top. And if they move to produce a pattern, we know there's a magnetic field around this magnet. OK, so let's investigate the magnetic field pattern due to a single bar magnet. So here we go, we've got the bar magnet under the piece of paper and I'm going to begin sprinkling on the iron filings. Now I remember when I first started teaching this, um, I sort of thought, well, it's pretty obvious what's happening here. But um, it took a while really for me to realise that students couldn't actually look at the picture very well and see what was going on. But what you notice is lines coming out of the poles that's the North Pole, and coming into the South Pole, and lines coming around like this, out of the North and into the South, out of the North and into the South. And what you're seeing there is the shape of the magnetic field around the bar magnet, and you'll notice where most of the iron filings stick, that's where the poles are, that's where the magnetic field is strongest. So we showed quite well there that there's a magnetic field around this magnet because the iron filings formed a nice pattern. And I'll just remind you what a field is in physics. It's a place in space. And a magnetic field is a place in space where magnetic objects feel forces. And the little iron filings definitely felt forces. So we knew that there was a magnet underneath the paper. And in this region in space, there was a magnetic field. But what about if we've got two magnets? Now these two have a north and a south facing each other. We don't need to know which is which, but because they attract, the poles are opposite. And there must be a magnetic field in this gap causing those forces. So why don't we put those two magnets that were attracting each other, get them the right way around, attracting each other under the piece of paper, sprinkle some iron filings on top and see what field pattern we get. Now let's look at two magnets attracting each other. So we'll hold them apart a little bit and hope the friction will keep them there. Put the piece of paper on top and sprinkle on the iron filings. And if you look carefully, the iron filings stick to the poles. That's where the magnetic field uh, is very strong and it's quite weak out here. But you can see field lines now going straight across 
are parallel field lines. And if this is the north and that's the south, they're going straight across the gap. And if the lines are evenly spaced, the field has the same strength everywhere in the gap. And that's what we call a uniform magnetic field. So I can take this one just a little bit further. Imagine magnetic field lines are like elastic bands. And if I was to pull these apart, those field lines would try to pull back. You'd sort of be stretching the field lines. And so when I see that, I immediately know we've got two poles trying to attract each other here and make the field lines shorter. But there's one other experiment that some teachers forget to get their pupils to do. So let's do this one. Don't forget we did attraction, but what happens if the magnets are repelling? So let's put two magnets underneath the piece of paper that are repelling, and let's sprinkle the iron filings on and see what shape of field we get this time. So here I've got two magnets that, yep, are repelling each other. So these two poles are similar. Um, let's put the piece of paper on top and see what happens. So I'll sprinkle on the iron filings and you might be quite surprised. You can see the poles there, but I'm trying to pile iron filings on the gap here and they're just clearing out of the way. Here, we don't get field lines forming across the gap, but the uh, field lines come out and round and you can imagine them like rubber bumpers that as we push them together, they try to push apart. Immediately, when I see a gap like that, I know these two poles are similar poles and they're repelling. So, I really hope you enjoyed that video and learnt a little bit about magnetic field shapes. Magnetic fields have a direction as well, they always go from north to south. So if ever you draw these lines, make sure you put arrows on them that go from north to south. Anyway, I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then.